if you are in the beginning stages of your trading career, there are mistakes that you will make inherently because of the way that the human brain works. So in this video, I'm gonna give you the top three reasons you're still struggling with your day trading. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name's Artie, and this is The Moving Average, a show where we discuss everything day trading to keep you profitable on a consistent basis. So a lot of you guys see the potential of day trading, and once you first start, you start having a little bit of beginner's luck, right? A few trades go your way, you made 10 bucks, 20 bucks, 100 bucks, and you're like, I can replace my full-time income with this. Then as you get deeper into it, you have loss after loss after loss after loss, and you think to yourself, what was I doing wrong? I know exactly how you feel because I've made these exact same mistakes and I've lost thousands upon thousands of dollars doing it. So what I'd like to do is share these three things with you so that you can avoid them and or learn how to stop them in the process. Okay, the number one example is called loss aversion. This is a weird thing that your brain does when you are doing anything in your life, not just day trading. Think about a caveman. A caveman has very limited things, so he is not willing to lose any of his belongings, any of his stored food, because that hurts way more. Versus getting a fresh kill on, I don't know, deer, elk, mammoth, saber-tooth tiger. Those successes are immeasurably less valuable to him because it's the process of moving forward. So psychologically, we want to hold on to what we have, and it hurts to lose it, and when we get gain, we expect it. Now this silly graph right here explains it really, really well. As you start losing more and more and more, you feel more and more pain. Now let's say that this point right here is negative $500 on a trade. You feel massively miserable and it hurts your guts, Whereas if you were plus 500 on your trade, you would only feel half the amount of joy that you should expect, but you don't because your brain is programmed that way. And the more you gain, the less pleasure you will get out of it. This is why so frequently people move their stop losses. Even if they're negative, they don't want the trade to close negative because that will be a realized loss. They're willing to hold it in hopes that it will go back to being positive. And even if it did reverse from negative $500, even to positive 10, you will not close that trade because you want that huge success. Even though you should know psychologically, it won't give you the same satisfaction. That's why sticking to a trading plan is the best way. You want to be cold hearted and emotionless when it comes to your trades. You want to maximum lose 1% and have your take profit set at 2%. This way you are consistent and you avoid the loss aversion mentality that is literally programmed in your brain from caveman times. Now the second thing that I wanna discuss is revenge trading. This is one of the most detrimental things to anyone beginning in the day trading space. This is what happens. You have a trading plan, the trade goes against you on the first round, you lose $100. For you that is a massive amount of money and it hurts and you want to win it back. That is your first mistake. Once you lose that trade and you lose that money, it is no longer yours. You cannot consider it yours, so you cannot get it back. You should cut it off right there, look at your total trading balance, and begin to trade with that with a fresh mind and a fresh start. The best way to do that is to wait 24 hours and trade the next day. If you lose $100, and you continue to trade thinking you want to win that $100 back because it is yours and you deserve it, you are wrong and you will get burned. What happens is you take these bigger trades, higher risk to get that money back faster. Then as you open up any trade, you all know this due to the spreads and the commission, your trade will immediately be negative. Even if it dips a little bit and goes further negative, you will close that trade in fear of losing more. So you will open up five high risk trades 
and close them all at losses because it hurts to lose. You will literally throw out everything you've learned about technical analysis and being a cold hearted machine when it comes to trading and you will run 100% off of emotion. You will make decisions that you will regret, but you're not thinking about at that time because you are emotional. If you lose a trade and it hurts your guts and your cheeks start to get red and your blood pressure rises, you cannot handle day trading the way you're doing it. What you need to do is go back to testing and demo to gain the confidence. And if that happens to you while you're actually trading, what you need to do is close your computer and just go take a walk and start trading the next day. Realize that loss was a loss. It is no longer your money. It is floating in the market for someone else to win. And then you just start again the next day with a fresh mindset. And the last and most interesting and most relevant to most beginners is going to be the Dunning-Kruger effect. You've probably never heard this before because I just recently learned about this like seven months ago after a year of day trading. This is a prime example of how the beginner's luck mentality works. In this graph, you have confidence on this axis knowledge and skills on this axis. The beginner's luck phase is right here. Most people as they begin day trading start to get a little bit of knowledge on technical analysis and how to trade. During that phase, your confidence shoots through the roof because you're like, I can make money, I can work at home, I can spend more time vacationing and being with my family, I'm gonna be a billionaire. At that peak pinnacle point right here, is the top of Mount Stupid. Unfortunately, you do not have the knowledge and skills to be a good day trader, but you have the confidence of an eight foot tall man with 10 abs. So you might get a little bit of success here due to your massive amount of confidence, but once you start losing, oh brother, that's where it really happens. You get down to the valley of despair and you start questioning every single one of your strategies, every single one of your trades. You start thinking that Forex trading is a scam and that this is the biggest waste of money and time. And by this point, you've probably lost five to $10,000 of your own money. What I want to instill in you is persistence. I've gone through this Mount Stupid phase where I deposited $10,000 and the Valley of Despair where I lost that $10,000. I thought I knew everything, but I was not even close. If you do, however, have that persistence, the I am never going to quit mentality, over years, I'm talking thousands of hours of research, knowledge, and testing and learning, over that time, you will start to grow wisdom. The slope of enlightenment will get you to the point where you not only have the knowledge and the skill, but also the confidence to execute on that knowledge and skill. So do not let that beginner's luck mentality confuse you. You do not know as much as you think you do. But the more time and effort and energy you put into learning, testing, and trading, and practicing, and demoing, and journaling, you will get to that guru level. So if you guys want a little bit of a deeper explanation into all three of these things, I've linked all three of those articles down below. They're very informative and very helpful and will help you realize what's going on inside your head while you're making these day trading mistakes. And if you are one of those people that continue to make the mistakes and you don't realize what they are, I've made a video of the top 10 most common day trading mistakes right here. So go watch that and make sure you don't do those things because it's catastrophic. And if you guys enjoyed this video and you like the way that I teach, make sure you're showing your support by clicking the thumbs up button and subscribing if you have not already. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.